In developing the KF-51 Panther, Rheinmetall not only set out to modernize existing main battle tank concepts. Starting from scratch, it completely reconceived the platform. The KF-51 Panther can be easily updated and equipped with the latest capabilities and functions. It's advanced, modular, which can then be updated in harmony with innovation cycles. The KF-51 Panther is the first representative of a new generation of combat vehicles. Soon, future innovations will enable environmentally friendly peacetime operations and further optimization regarding automation and combat effectiveness. The KF-51 Panther, the name of which recalls the legendary Nazi German tank of World War II, was presented at the Eurosatory Land Defense Exhibition in Paris, by Rheinmetall CEO Armin Paperger. The company has released very little in the way of information about the new main battle tank and its specifications. The tank reportedly weighs around 65 tons. This makes it lighter than the Leopard 2, which, in its latest 2A7V form, tips the scales at a little over 70 tons, according to the German army. Powered by the same 1,475 horsepower diesel engine, that should help to ensure the Panther has improved mobility compared to its predecessor. Overall, the Panther is lighter than a lot of current Western main battle tank. The new KF-51 main battle tank also has its firepower boosted, thanks to a smoothbore 130mm caliber main gun, compared to the 120mm weapon on the Leopard 2. This reflects a broader interest in moving to increased caliber tank armament and the gun itself is something that Rheinmetall has been working on for some time now. According to Paperga, the 130mm gun is more than 50% more effective than the Leopard 2's gun and will offer much longer range. It will fire both kinetic energy sabot projectiles and programmable explosive ammunition. The KF-51 Panther features an innovative operating concept. It is basically designed for a three-person crew, the commander and gunner in the turret and the driver in the chassis, where an additional operator station is available for a weapons and subsystems specialist or for command personnel such as the company commander or battalion commander. All weapon systems are connected to the commander's and gunner's optics and the fire control computer via the fully digitalized NGVA architecture. This enables both a hunter-killer and a killer-killer function and thus instantaneous target engagement, in the future also supported by artificial intelligence.